Alrighty guys, what is up? Welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program, The Dark Fog with Lone Debater 7. And today we are going to be setting up yellow science or cubes, right? So we've got our labs back here ready to roll. We've got some diamonds being fed in and these assemblers are going to be making us our titanium crystals, the other half of our yellow cubes. These require organic crystal and titanium ingots. So what I plan on doing I went ahead and put some hats, or a hat, on our organic crystal line. So what I'd like to do is use the hats and the drone logistic network to actually bring those over, just to try it out. Um, this will kind of be the first thing we've done with drones, so request, and we're gonna filter the box, if I can click it. For organic crystal and guess the filter I guess the filter look at that fancy fancy put that there we'll get some power in on these guys um, just so they're ready to run and then all I really need to do is bring over the titanium um, I went ahead and brought over basically basically uh, Four boxes worth of titanium in our hands um i am gonna throw a hat on this as well to request the titanium i don't think it's actually going to grab it however mainly because it's too far away uh but that's okay not a big deal we'll hit guest filter zero available routes oh oh that's because i have it in a box that's not actually a provider it's set as a requester and that's fine we'll just manually move the titanium I actually need to bring the graphene over here as well uh, because, yeah, uh, we do have a planetary base. Interesting. So they must have changed this. We have cleared the guys off of our planet. Where are you at, Mr. Planetary Base? Oh, that's on the other planet. That's fine. Um, so the planetary bases are actually flying into, uh, are still being added to the planet we set up last time. I didn't think they would be, but apparently I was incorrect on that. Uh, they have changed it, so now, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, the fog will continue to add bases to your other planets when you expand. And that's okay. Not the end of the world. I did plonk down some signal towers to protect what we have built over there. That way, we're not completely SOL if they decide to attack us, but there is that. Why is this not getting powered? I thought I put a power pole right there. Apparently not. There we go. So that should be our two resources that we need. So organic crystal and titanium go in to make titanium crystal. And look at that. Our first yellow cubes being made. Being made. Woo. Only took us 11 hours. <laughs> only 11. Um, not a big deal. Uh, definitely not speed run. That's fine. I'm not trying to speed run anything. And actually, what I'm going to do on this, I am going to just chop this down so we get one output to fill up our belt to bring this into our labs. Uh, sure, I'll just run it to there for a minute so I can see where I want to bring it in at. And then I need to replace these power poles. Sure, that probably will work. Okay, cool, that worked. Um, all right, so we've got our labs like right there. That actually is not terrible. And run this guy like here. We're gonna run it along this edge. Going all the way in. And I should buffer our yellow cubes as well. We'll put that buffer like right here. should be okay this is on the other planet it actually is not here so they attacked one of our geotherms that's not ideal but you know what that's okay i suppose and they didn't actually destroy it they just damaged it a little bit so whatever we're gonna have this flasher forever i guess <laughs> is what's gonna happen but that's not the end of the world i am not too concerned about it and then with this we're just going to do one fast in sorter for each of these. Call it a deal. And let's get our research set up. So I need high strength titanium alloy. 
then I want interplanetary logistics or interstellar rather. Uh, those are the two that I really need. So I need steel, titanium, and sulfuric acid to make this high strength titanium alloy, which is what I need in order to not only build the vessels and the tower, but to build the, where are they at? They're down here, reinforced thrusters. Also take that. So we need to get all of those things in order to make this happen. And that's fine. Should be easy enough to do. And really, I want to move that purple over one because ultimately we're going to have another line of science going in right there. Cool. So there's that. Gets Get our labs rolling. Um, fantastic. So that's yellow science. It's set up. It's not fully automated because the titanium is being generated or mined on a different planet, but that's okay. Not the end of the world. Oh, I forgot to pick up graphene. I've been meaning to pick up graphene like for 20 trips now and bring it over to our uh, building bus, but uh, yeah, I've forgotten like literally every time. So that's okay. We will fly over this away, pick up some graphene because again, these are just slightly... Or I don't know if it's slightly, but they're definitely out of range. Um, so we'll grab some of that and fly it over so we can start building the planetary level logistic systems. And, and basically what the holdup is on that is we need to make the particle containers, the little pink tubey looking guys, um, which I built a little machine over on the back end here to kind of make those for us. So let's go ahead and give you the graphing that you're looking for so you can get started on that. Um, then I am going to double out from right here so it can just run the length of this belt. Sure. Upgrade it to a green. Why not? We've got, we got plenty of belts. Yeah. Uh, not what I wanted to do. Grab four of those. Thank you. And we'll replenish our fast belts. Um, this is going to not be ideal long term just because these guys one machine is not enough to power all the stuff that gets built with the green engines it's just a fact um i'm okay with it because really i only need a handful of these things to kind of get started once we have access to the planetary logistics which are being built here um and then the interplanetary logistics will be sitting a lot better for those types of things but we've got our little particle guys traveling all this way around to our uh to our splitter right here so we can eventually put them on the bus with our titanium as well if we really want to uh but i'm trying to be conservative on our titanium we have like two boxes worth basically and that's it and i need a little bit in order to make the reinforced titanium which that research is about to come in three two one boom high strength titanium alloy we got it so if we take a look at that, to make this, we need sulfuric acid, steel, and titanium. I've got titanium here. I've got steel here. I don't have sulfuric acid over here, though. This is done in a smelting facility, oddly enough. Um, so what I might actually do for that is build it over on this side of the bus, I think. And then I'm just going to grab another splitter and put it, like, right here to... Uh, kind of hold that for us so let's build a little smelter we don't need a lot like like this will get moved almost certainly will get moved um i just need a little bit of this to get going is kind of what the issue is so we're gonna make a little bit of it to get us going um how do i want to do the belt uh, i guess bring it down to like there then bring it over and up, over and to that. Sure, that'll work. This will be the output side. So just get all the sorters placed. Um, then I need to bring in sulfuric acid is the only thing. So the way I'm gonna handle that is I'm just gonna throw a storage tank right here and I'm gonna manually bring the sulfuric over. Um, we do have an okay sulfuric build right now, but yeah, it it's kind of on like the other side of the planet. And until I build some planetary logistics, so these guys, and put some drones inside, it's not going to be very easy to uh, bring this over. So 
we will just do something kind of like a little hack right here to make our lives a bit easier. It's not super easy just because I still have to fly the sulfuric acid over manually, uh, which is kind of annoying. Fluids are a little bit annoying on that. Um, but let's go ahead. I needed steel and titanium, right? So I think I'm going to use this box of titanium. It's just one, but that should actually do us just fine. Uh, so we will maybe bring it out like that. Why are we always building on a Meridian? It seems like we're always building on one. Uh, so, okay, there's that. We'll bring this guy out like this. And that will be our titanium input. And then I just need to run a steel line over here, which is on the bus. So we'll just take it off the bus. Uh, no pun intended. But uh, yeah, so throw these guys in. Bam, there's the titanium. Now that I broke that power pole, I need a new power pole. Sure, there's that. Uh, before we go fly over to get the sulfuric, where is our steel? Our steel is actually right here. So I can sneak a belt out. Is that port occupied? Oh, I am using all of them. Darn it. Uh, I do have another one up here. Though. So we'll just... Yeah, we'll just pull it from right here. Why not? Bring it in on this side, and it should, that's probably where it needs to be. Um, now, the this recipe is quite slow, uh, so I am going to fast feed the steel. And let's go grab the sulfuric acid and get this titanium, high strength titanium alloy built up uh, so we can at least get a little bit generating. Uh, it's not going to be a lot, not going to be a lot by any stretch, but we need some of it in order to kind of keep progressing more or less. So this is already true through all of our titanium. Um, I'm probably going to stop research once we get interstellar logistics, which we almost have as it is. So can I get over here, please? And let's just fill up like 10,000. Yeah, these fluid tanks are awful to pull fluid out of. Unfortunately, you've got to, like, control and hold down your mouse. You can't just, uh, say, take the whole tank. That is not an option. So, okay, there's interstellar logistics. Fantastic. Um, I'm not going to fill titanium into our yellow cube or science build quite yet um, because I don't want to run out before we get some interstellar logistics towers. I'd rather not have to make another trip loading and unloading of titanium if possible i did bring over some silicon not a ton but like whatever would fit in my inventory and then i carried three boxes worth of titanium i think it was like eleven thousand or something like that i carried that in my hands um i'll show you it works the same as what i'm doing with the sulfuric acid basically you control click on the item and fill up your hand and that's kind of how that works so i'm just going to grab about 10,000 sulfuric acid um now the high strength titanium is a slow recipe so 10,000 should last us for quite a while um we'll likely run out of titanium before we burn through 10,000 sulfuric acid is what i'm thinking i that may that may not be accurate but i think that's accurate i don't actually know um I should have grabbed graphene before filling up my hand with sulfuric acid, actually. That would have been a smart thing to do, but that's okay. We will grab, you know what, 8,000 is probably good enough. Close out those. And basically right now, it's flying in Icarus's hands. So his hands are big. They hold 8,000 sulfuric acid. They also apparently are, as, are acid proof because he's not like melting right now, which I find a little funny. Um, but it's also good. I'm glad that they have this in the game because it makes transporting this stuff when you first are getting started so much easier to accomplish. Uh, put it all in there. Put it all in there. All of it, though. It's not going to put all of it. So I have to sit here and click and hold down my mouse to fill this tank full of acid that we just gathered. So sorry about that. This is a little boring. Didn't mean to make it boring for you guys, but... Uh, this is what we need to do in order to get our high strength titanium built up. Um, I probably will throw a box on top of that splitter that it's feeding into just so we can buffer a little bit of it. 
uh, just, it, we, we do not have a long belt. As you can see, it's already backing up, right? So I do want to buffer this alloy because we need a little, like, we need a decent amount of it. I think each interstellar tower takes 40, each drone takes another 15, and each thruster takes another 20. So we need, like, roughly 100 of this alloy for each iteration that we're going to do for interstellar logistics. And starting off, we really only need two. We'll put one on the planet where we're getting our silicon and titanium, and one probably right here, honestly, on our home planet. That way we are set up and ready to go. Uh, so I need to be able to build at least two of those towers. Okay, fair enough. And then I wouldn't mind having like a bunch of the drones for them. They are expensive, however. I'll have to take a look at the recipe for it and see how much it costs. Well, we may end up just handcrafting uh, the towers and things like that. It likely is not going to be worth our time just trying to set up automation for it yet. We will be automating them. We definitely will be automating them because, yeah, uh, we, we want those automated. Uh, okay, is this full? It's not full. It's out. Oh, it's waiting on pings. Okay, that's fine. We'll take four of those. Sure. Um, I was going to throw a storage box on this. And you know what? We won't cap it. We'll just let it fill up all the way. I think these only stack up to 100 just like steel. So, you know what? Having a full box right here is honestly not the worst thing. Um, with our titanium, we're still burning through a little bit of it, making these planetary builders, but that's okay. Uh, I do need some of these pink containers in order to build the next tier. So let's let's take a look and see what we need. So to build this, we need a planetary logistics. I've got that. We need 40 high strength titanium or titanium alloy. It's not high strength, it's just titanium alloy. Uh, we need 40 of that. Then we need 20 particle containers. So okay. There's the alloy. Now I just need particle containers, which what I can do is just sweep the belt as it kind of goes along here. I don't really need more planetary guys at this point. Um, not right now. Like, I definitely want them, don't get me wrong. Uh, but I don't need them right this second. Let's just upgrade the rest of that belt. Thank you. Get them a little bit quicker, right? Uh, so that one snuck by us, that's okay. As you can see, it takes a while for each one of these to be built. It's fine, it's just gonna take us a minute in order to gather up. We technically need 40 of them in order to build the two towers that we need. And then that's fine. We'll build the two stations first. I'll probably place the one on this side, uh, right where those titanium boxes are, because what I'm gonna be bringing in is titanium and then silicon. Silicon, I've got boxes and like a splitter right there. You can see it off on the right hand side of the screen um, next to the steel. So we'll feed that in to that position from the tower and then we'll feed our titanium into the uh, titanium line on our bus as well. And that'll be that automated, which will be fantastic. As far as like moving it around the planet concerns, obviously I want silicon in other places than just here. I want titanium in other places than just here. We'll use planetary logistics for that. So I can build a planetary tower on the other places I want silicon and titanium. And the interstellar towers actually have have room for the planetary drones. So they can be a planetary source as well. And that's how I plan on using it. So we almost have the containers. We need two more to build our first tower. We will build our first tower. And then uh, I wanna take a look and see how much the reinforced thrusters cost. I hope that they don't take the uh, the pink guys, I don't remember if they do or not. So reinforce, it's just the green engines and then titanium alloy. Oh, do they not even use the basic thrusters? They don't. Interesting, okay. So we need to go pick up, um, well, more of this for sure. So we'll grab more of that. Let's go grab some green motors, which we probably are not buffering. We're not buffering at all. They're all going into these containers. So that's unfortunate. Those are just motors and then magnets, which I do have over here in a box. I just pulled like basically all the motors we have, so that's not great, but fine. Um, how much do each of these cost? Uh, they cost two thrusters a pop. So if I build 10 thrusters, I can build five drones. Not amazing. 
And what we're limited on right now is probably iron and copper because we need iron and copper to make the, uh, the motors, right? So I can grab some iron there and some iron there and some iron there. Then I do have some copper over here as well. We're not using that much of. So there's that. Can I build another 10 maybe? I can build another 10. Fantastic. We're gonna build 20. That gives us enough for 10 of these. It's not a ton, but it's something. I do need some processors as well, which those should be buffered in the box. Now we are out of silicon over here again, which I could do a little manual run and fly some over, but we're gonna grab like 200 processors. That's maybe enough to build. Well, that's more than enough. That will build more of those than we can actually like craft as far as the other requisite materials are concerned, meaning the reinforced thrusters. So that's fine. We're gonna keep on sweeping this belt, gather another 20 pink containers, and then we can build our second interstellar logistics tower. You need two of them um, so they can fly between each other, between each other, right? Uh, so that's not a big deal. We'll get them, you know, soon enough, I suppose. Uh, not as fast as I would like to be getting them, but you know what? That's okay. We'll deal with that in a minute or like probably next episode. We're going to try to fix some of this hack stuff that I have going on on the backside um, and, and relocate it into a dedicated area. So like the green motors, I want to have a more substantial build for those in particular. Um, and then it also might make sense to do like as a part of that, I will also be making a bigger motor build and then also do the super the the like blue motors or whatever i forget what they're called um those are those require the green ones so we'll build all of that automation probably next time just because we use a fair we use those in a fair amount of recipes and we're using way more than what we can generate as you can see with these pink containers we'll also probably do a better build for the particle containers that we're waiting on here um just because we need those not only for the planetary logistics, we also need them for the interplanetary or interstellar logistics towers. So we need them for more than just one thing. And they take like, well, for this recipe that we're waiting on, it takes 20 of them, right? I think the planetary towers take it an another 20. So it's 40 of them for every interstellar tower that we build. And yeah, we're gonna want a lot of interstellar towers ultimately. It just makes it a lot easier for us to gather resources off of our starter planet, um, right? And kind of ship it around and do all those good things, which we want to do, right? That's how you scale in this game. Um, but that's fine. Once we have the two set up, we can then take a look and fully automate our yellow science. And then we can start queuing up a bunch of yellow science because we've got titanium being mined. It's only like a million or something like that. Maybe a little more on that planet that we set up last time. Uh, but that'll be enough, right? Like that's enough to run yellow science, probably get through all of the yellow science, honestly. Um, maybe not do everything, everything that we want, but it'll get us pretty close. So, okay, we've got that queued up. We're building more thrusters, which is building more of these engines. That's fine. Um, let's see. Basically, I'm just waiting on handcrafting. We've got, what is that? Three minutes worth of time before that's finished and ready to go. So this titanium is working. That's doing okay. I actually will take this top box. I don't need it there anymore. Oh, we should go pick up fuel. That might be a smart thing. Let's see if we make it before we run out of power. Maybe. I know I could stop and like recharge at one of the fancy power towers, which we'll probably do because I don't think we're gonna make it to the coal. That's over by our missile factory. It's kind of like out of the way from a lot of things. Um, that's just the way it kind of got designed, unfortunately. So that's fine, not the end of the world. Uh, 80 should be enough to get us the rest of the way. Then we can fill up our our, uh, our powers reserves, right? So I've got this box of energetic graphite. I know that these might be slightly better than this for power, but boom, okay. There you go. Be happy. Um, okay, so why are we not making missile ammo? What are we out of? Are those green circuits? They are green circuits. Why are we low on... Oh, because we've tapped this copper all the way. Fun stuff. Our starter copper is gone. It's gone. 
Um, interesting. I mean, is there a copper note that's like not a thousand miles away that I could, you know, fill this up with? Maybe. Let's go on the map view. Uh, so this one is the closest, and I do have a copper line there, so I guess we will head over that way and run another obscenely long belt to keep this missile factory going. I don't care about the rest of this stuff, but I do care about the missiles being built because that is something that would be nice to put into the interstellar tower so we can uh, then just break the boat. It doesn't matter. Um, for the 900 copper, we're just going to bury that vein is what's going to happen here. So, bury vein. Boom. Hidden. You're gone. You're gone. Useless. No, not really. It served us pretty well. Um, let's go grab that copper line. I wish I had more power right now, but I don't. That's okay. Um, okay, where is this? It's right here. So this guy is going to be trekking all the way across the dang world. Um, but that's okay, I suppose. Go around the stone and all the random wind turbines that we have. And it does kind of need to follow this ammo belt. That's ultimately where this is going is basically where this one's coming from so i could break this ammo belt and actually use that instead reverse the path and whatnot but that's all right i'm not too too worried about it uh sure and now we have to build this monstrosity which i'm gonna do uh i want the missile ammo i did stock up the other end uh with quite a bit of missile ammo um but it's definitely not going to last forever especially if they continue putting planetary bases where we're getting our titanium and silicon uh so that's fine we're building our first interstellar logistics vessels that's great um we could build 10 we technically could build 11 i'm probably going to go pick up some more resources so i can build more of these obviously the more you have the faster the transit is going to be of the resources uh it will buffer eventually it's just i'd rather not be waiting for years for it to buffer so what we're going to be missing is iron i should have picked that up while we were over on the other side of the planet because that has a bunch of iron in it but i can grab some iron here. sure i can only build two why is that it's not titanium i don't it's just this takes a ton of iron, apparently. Um, okay, I guess that's fair enough. Fair enough. Grab some more iron. Still can only build like five. Why? Why are we so limited on that? Oh, because I don't have enough magnets. Okay. That's a little... That makes a lot more sense, actually. So we'll grab some more magnets and kind of get that set up. I can build 10 more, sure. Now I'm out of processors, that's fine. We will just take those 10 and bring them with us. Before I leave, because we are gonna fly to the other planet and set up this interstellar logistics, I'm gonna set up our uh, this planet side first um, before we go, and then we'll fly over and set up the other side. So I'm just gonna throw some foundation down and see if we can't put this guy in like that, I guess. That actually works pretty well, um, I think. Look at this Giganto. Boom. Yeah, feels good. Feels good. Uh, we are going to do this, and we are going to be asking for titanium. We're going to be asking for silicon. So the way this works, right, I'm going to leave it local supply. What that means is it will supply to this planet these two materials. Now, remote supply means it will send it to other planets asking for this. I actually want it remote demand, so ask for this material. We want titanium, we want silicon here. Uh, that's kind of how this is gonna work. So now, what I can do is set a filter on this output belt 
and you know what we'll bring it out here and then I'm just gonna connect it to this splitter because this is where our silicon needs to go and then I can kind of break the storage boxes I don't really need it this holds 10,000 so that's way more of a buffer than I, I realistically need now for the titanium um, I needed to go into this splitter and then I also needed to feed this line so what might actually make sense here is to run it in we're gonna run it in like so you're gonna grab titanium and it needs to go into this splitter perfect you're gonna bring our titanium in um, then what I can do is I can actually pull the titanium out of here and put it inside of this like that and that's what we're gonna do so I can pull these boxes out I don't need them um, this 10,000 buffer is quite large uh, so I'm okay with that as you can see we already have like it's probably gonna be close to 5,000 or more uh, by the time it's all said and done uh, I also am gonna pull out of this box it doesn't have that much left that's fine uh, it doesn't need to have a lot left because we're gonna rearrange this stuff so break 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 all those sure and then I am just gonna split this off on the upper level on the back of this splitter is what I'm gonna do and just feed it in from our actual line and that kind of takes care of this issue for us now I will need to set up a planetary tower over by our yellow science so I guess I could do that um, I do have some drones I think they take 50 so I'll grab 50 of them throw those 50 in perfect and then before we leave we will go set up a planetary tower over here to basically grab uh, titanium is what it's going to be doing for us so we've got 400 yellows chilling in there because we ran out of titanium so what i can do is instead of this box bringing titanium break this and instead i can take this and put down a planetary logistics station like right here sure looks good it looks good to me um now this is powered it's going to be requesting titanium and then i think i will put our crystal silicon in there and it'll also request regular silicon to run these smelters and then i can tear up this line and i don't need to worry about it anymore so let's just move the silicon into this uh, actually, let me delete some stuff first. Boom. Boom. Okay. Uh, can I put some more silicon in this guy? Yes, I can. We're gonna just drop this raw ore on the ground. I don't need it. Um, we're not gonna use it, so... Good enough, right? So let's do that. We're gonna delete this and this. And basically what needs to happen here... I need to put some belts... We're gonna run a silicon belt across the way and into this. And then I guess I can leave this buffer. It doesn't hurt anything, I suppose. I suppose that's fine. Um, that's maybe not the way to build this. We'll maybe run it across like right here. Just run it into the middle, I suppose. That's fine. And that'll put these guys inside of here. And I can also cap this. I mean, a thousand is probably more than enough, in all honesty. So it's gonna supply these crystals. It's gonna demand silicon here, is what it's gonna do. And then it's gonna demand titanium as well. Which we should see some titanium coming over. Yeah, we, we actually do see some titanium coming over right away because we have it in that interstellar tower. So if we wait here a minute, uh, you can kind of see how this works. I guess I can connect up the titanium line too, huh? That might be a good call. I honestly would prefer to come out that spot. To where I'd like it to be. There we go. Now once the titanium comes in, which we should see, these are our little drony boys. They're flying over the titanium. They're going to put it in this box. And then this will start making us some more science basically what's going to happen 
did not realize that we did not have a power pole there, but now we do. Great. And we'll see some titanium flowing out, hopefully. Did this filter not get set? Titanium, please. Thank you. There we go. All right. So we're set up to have our yellow science automated. Let's go ahead and fly over to the other planet, this planet, and set up our other interplanetary station. Are we sitting on power? Not amazing, really. So let's go grab some more before we leave. All right, that should do us. It's it's not that big of a deal. We're only going to be there for a minute. Uh, but did that not mark? No, it did. Okay, great. Um, all right, let's go. We gonna fly. We gonna fly. And of course, the hive is right in the optimal path. It's like they knew. They knew. Uh, but that's okay. We'll just ramp up our speed here. Give them a wide enough berth that they don't come and destroy us, hopefully, and kind of go from there. Um, it should be okay. So there is a planetary base that's about to launch an attack on that planet. I'm actually not too worried about it, all things considered, um, just because we do have signal towers protecting our stuff pretty well on that planet. Um, I wouldn't mind capping the base, though, just because... I could use the extra power, A, and B, um, I don't necessarily want them spawning guys all the time, if that makes sense. And likely, the base itself is getting annihilated because it disappears off of my radar every once in a while, too. Um, so I don't know if that's because it's being destroyed or if it's just because there's not an attack being launched. I'm not on that planet, so it doesn't care. Um, but they are launching an assault. What a bunch of jabronis. We're going to fly in. And we're going to take this base out, is what we're going to do. Smack the planet. Bam. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, we can't fly right now. I think it was up this way, right? No, it's over this way. We should have... I think I still have some signal towers on me. I do. Do I have anything close by here? should kind of maybe yeah i totally do they landed right next to a base we just took or a base that we did take already so that's fine we're just gonna get rid of this base that's what we're gonna do real quick then we'll go set up the, the tower i know sorry guys taking me longer than i you know wanted to kind of get this stuff done but uh we're just going to deal with these dark fog jabronis first. Uh, obvious, honestly, went quite quickly. Uh, oh, that's not quite in range. It's Rassant. There we go. Put down our geotherm. And then which way to our resources? Over here. So actually, it's faster to fly this way. The signal towers do charge you up, so it's fine standing next to them for a little bit. I don't actually mind that. So here's our titanium, which is full. So three full boxes should be 12,000, and then that's our silicon. Uh, so let's go ahead and put down an interstellar, like right there. And we're going to put titanium, we're going to put silicon, and we're going to give you some long distance fellas. And basically what I want to do is uh it honestly might make more sense to just direct feed these but for now what i'm gonna do instead and i know this probably is not optimal so yell at me in the comments if you want i'm well aware it's better to just direct feed the belt into the tower and whatnot but uh you know what it is what it is, right? So we're going to do this, and then I'm going to put some sorters outputting from this box. And I 
do need another power pole, apparently. Come on, build that. You can do it. Um, and then I think what I will do is I will ultimately just connect these like that and then like that and then I can break the sorters feeding into the box and what will end up happening is the titanium will flow out of this box out of the boxes over time and fill up our tower and then eventually it will take this away so once this fills up with titanium we should see some of our big shippies going and taking that back to our our home planet right and I'm going to do something similar with this box and run the silicon in there. Um, doesn't really need the hat on it. I just put it on mainly because I didn't want to waste the uh, the item and I wanted more room to carry resources. But let's do this. We're going to pull you, pull you around like that. And then we're going to output with three. We're gonna break the sorters that are putting into this box. And then over time, these boxes will empty. Uh, and once they're empty, they won't ever fill back up. And that'll be great. Um, yeah, so we got the two outputs. We got those belts connected. Now I just need to feed these into our interstellar station. I think it's this line. It's not. One short. Dang. I was close. I was close. Do this one right next to it. Perfect. And as you can see, these guys are bringing our titanium from this interstellar logistics station back to our home planet. And eventually they'll do the silicon as well. Um, it's likely they're going to be looking at transporting titanium almost exclusively to start out with. Um, and then they'll maybe switch over and take some silicon back. We don't need the silicon as much as we need the titanium, so I'm actually okay with that. Uh, it just would be nice. It'd be nice to get some. Actually, I should set up missile ammo on this end now that I'm thinking about it. And this is going to be remote demand, and I should connect that into our missile box over there because we do want some missiles. Interstellar, there we go. We transported some titanium, fantastic. Uh, sure, we'll build it out like this. And let's build this belt. I know that I don't have missiles going into the other end of this interstellar logistics network quite yet, um, but we will eventually. So if we scroll out and take a look at the system, these are our ships. Or no, those are the, the hive. These are our ships. So they've gone in to our starter planet. They're coming back. And eventually they will, uh, you know, land, pick up some more resource and bring it back to our home planet. So we now effectively have titanium and silicon uh, fully automated for us, which is fantastic. Great news. Um, that's what we kind of want to have happening. So I think... I need to adjust the splitter in some way. Um, actually, I guess I could just put another splitter right here. That's bra Well, does that work? Yeah, it does work. I need to reverse this path, put it in, and then I can put a splitter right here that feeds this line. Gosh, why can I not align those? That is so dumb. Like, really? Okay, we're going to shorten this belt even more so I can align this stuff, I guess. Okay, that's fine. So this is going to come out like there and go like there. And this is going to go like there. And then we're going to take our long belt, bring it up to like there, I guess and run this into our splitter pool. And then I can actually take all the ammo out of that box, break the box, and then just feed it into the tower manually. And that will keep our turrets satisfied. Um, once I actually set up the 
other end of the interstellar tower with missile ammo being put in, um, it will be brought over here automatically, which is fantastic. That's what we want to see. But we'll put in what we've got for now and call it a day. Um, but guys, I think we're going to wrap it up here for today. So in this episode, we got our interstellar logistics network set up. Fantastic. We also showed off how the planetary logistics towers work as well. Um, hopefully you found this information useful. Hopefully you enjoyed the video as well. If you did, be sure to drop a like and a comment down below and consider subscribing to the channel. You can also show your support by becoming a member or doing a super like or a super thanks. Um, if you become a member, you get a planet named after you. If you do a super, then you get a star named after you. Anyway, guys, this has been Lone Debater 7, and until next time, we will see ya!